How does it feel to be in the Māori team? Um, you know, quite a new environment. They've got the tikanga Māori aspects of the team. How, how, you, how are you going to cope with that? Yeah, I'm still buzzing. Eh? I'm, still, I'm still super pumped for it. Still excited for it. And yeah, I wasn't really expecting a phone call. And yesterday when I got it, I was pretty stoked. And that's going to be awesome. I'm representing my whānau and family back home. My whānau and friends, sorry, I should say. Yeah, and I was pretty excited for it. Who are you most excited to get to work with in terms of the established players that we've got here in the Māori team? Uh, probably Ash Dixon. He's got a lot of mana and he's been around the tracks for quite a while. And it's been awesome to um, hopefully get in the front row with him and link shoulders with him. So excited for it. Has this been a dream for you to be in the Māori team? Um, probably the All Blacks was my was my dream. Like I thought it would always be cool to play for the Māori All Blacks. Like I always used to watch the Huckers on um, YouTube and all that. And uh, yeah, yeah. That would also be a dream though. So getting out there on the field and doing haka for the Māori All Blacks is something that you're excited for? Yeah, I can't wait for that. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. What's been one of your biggest challenges this year um, in terms of rugby? Um, well, I'm still pretty new to um, <clears throat> being in the front row and scrumming, so that's probably my um, my biggest work on so far and what I have to learn the most. But also just being a young player out there with a bunch of older dudes and boys that are more mature, so it's yeah, no, that's probably the biggest thing. Yeah, Clayton mentioned the robust selection process. Um, how does it feel to be one of two people to be selected in the team of 26? Oh, no, it's, it's, it's awesome, mate. Eh? Like, it's pretty crazy. Like, I still still can't wrap my head around it. Like, it's, yeah, still blow my mind. And I know my father is pretty, pretty proud of me. Yeah. How do you think it will compare to the rugby you've played in the past places? Um, it's probably going to be a little bit faster rugby and a bit more physical. Especially versus some more, they're big boys and big ball runners, so it's going to be a fast-flowing physical game. So that's probably what the biggest difference will be. But also, Super Rugby's been been pretty challenging this year, so but to step up from there, it's going to be exciting. I know there's one game down in Wellington, but when you when you play here, you know we've seen what it's like when Tonga play rugby league here, and I guess it'd be still an atmosphere to, to that when you guys play the double header. Yeah, is that yeah. something you're looking forward to? That's going to be an awesome atmosphere here. Mount Smart knows how to light it up between the Warriors play here, so it's. Nah, it's going to be awesome, especially with um, Māori and Polynesian culture around here. It's going to be crazy. Can't wait for it. Um, Oli, you said this has been your first full-time gig, I guess, with the Chiefs. How would you kind of sum up your season? Um, it's been awesome. It's definitely been, been a lot better than my little start last year. But I was um, pretty lucky to actually play in quite a few games this year. And it's been awesome. The culture's been amazing. And we're a young team, so we're still learning. We're still learning but it's been awesome this year. And which is insane. I know, he's just there, but um, how much has sort of played and impacted your game this season? Um, no, nah, he's been good. He's pretty honest. Like, if I'm playing average, he's going to tell me about it. If I'm training average, so he's he's on your heels and he likes to chew your ear up a bit, but that's been awesome. He's been amazing for the culture and it's washing things up a bit. And you said this came as a surprise. Um, I understand it disrupted some travel plans that you had in place. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, sorry, Millie, we need to go to Queenstown on Saturday, but it looks like I'm going to Wellington and Auckland for a bit. Where is your Māori heritage? What side of the family? Uh, Mum's side. Dad's from um, Australia and Mum's side's Napui, up north. How did yeah, so. she take the news? Um, well, I gave her a text this morning. I haven't really actually called her yet. She's got a big mouth, so the whole amount would have known if <laughs> I told her early. But no, nah, I think she'll be pretty pumped. Cool. And I guess you guys haven't really had a chance to get together as a group and train, but kind of what are you expecting from the two matches against one of the Physical. Physical and fast bunch of big boys running around but it'll also be a good chance for everyone to express themselves and play some fast fast rugby. It's a good track out here, Mount Smart and Wellington's good as well so it's it's gonna be some good fast playing rugby. Just being selected for um, the Māori All Blacks, has it encouraged you to get into a video for Māori? Yeah, see I've actually don't know a lot of Tadeo and haven't learnt about my culture that much so I'm, I'm excited for it and yeah I can't wait to get immersed in all the Māori culture.